Okay. Today is July the 4th, 2020. And let me ask you a question. Okay. Let's say you knew you were going to die next year on this day. What would you do? Would you work so many hours? Like, would you work 15 hours a day if you knew you were going to die next year? Would you? Like, would you ask your boss, hey, I am going to die next year, so give me all the hours you can give me because I want to make so much money because I am going to die next year. Would you do that? Would you? Like, what sense would that make? If you know you are going to die next year, like, why would you purposely work overtime? Honestly. Like, you are going to your afterlife soon, but you want to work more? <laughs> okay. What is that saying? YOLO, you only live once. Would you have that <laughs> mentality? Let me do all the fun I can do while I am alive now. Would you think in that type of way? Would you be turning up? If you knew you were going to die next year, honestly. Like, there is heaven and hell. Would you be thinking about acting wild right now if you knew you were going to die next year? Maybe some people. Maybe some people. What would you do? Maybe, maybe you would read the Bible or more. Maybe you would pray, fast, or do stuff of God more. Why? To prepare yourself for your afterlife, right? Wouldn't you? So, since you may not know when you are going to die now, why aren't you doing those things or more of it? I am not saying we have to pray for six hours a day and pray for another six hours and be on our knees for another six hours and whatever, only sleep three hours a day. No, I am not saying that. But the way you are living, you are living like you are going to live on this earth forever. As if this existence, as it is now, will last forever. How strange is that? The way you are living, trying to build a name for yourself, trying to build material possessions as if you are going to be here forever. You are not going to be here forever. Think about it. Why would you place 12 hours a day trying to build a home? In an area, you know it is going to be destroyed soon. Let's say for 10 years, you place 12 hours a day in building that house. You know where you have built that home Something is going to happen to where it is going to be destroyed. 
But yet, <laughs> whatever, let me build that home anyway. So 12 hours a day for 12 years, you build on that home. Then within a month, something happened to where it got destroyed. Would you do that? Would you even, would you even do that? Would you? Probably not. Why? Because it is a waste of time. Why place so much time and effort into something and see it get destroyed? Why work in vain? Okay. If you aren't placing focus on Jesus Christ, living against his rules, living by your rules, going on in his life as if you are going to live forever in this existence as it is now, isn't that a waste of time? Isn't it? Kevin, I want to be rich. You know, I want a Maserati. I want a Corvette. You know, I want a Mercedes. I want an Aston Martin. I want to be like these famous people on TV. But aren't those distractions if you aren't placing Jesus Christ first in your life. You living as though you are going to live forever in this existence as it is now. But you aren't. You are being distracted. I think there are so many distractions on this earth. So if you have to, if you have to, Separate yourself from anyone who chooses not to live for Jesus Christ so you can get yourself right with Jesus. Doesn't matter how long you have been someone's friend. I think we are going to be judged individually. So... Me and my friend won't be just in front of Jesus Christ at one time. Jesus, I did not want to leave my friend because we grew up with, with each other and where he go, I go. <laughs> what? No, I don't think so. I hope this makes sense. Let me stop here. God bless you.